Okay, today I just want to talk a little bit about uh, finger style, finger picking technique, uh, which I call relaxed finger picking. A lot of people ask me the question, you know, it looks so easy when you do it, but when I do it, my hand gets all cramped up and I can't quite do it all. So I just like to explain my technique for my right hand finger picking. There's a lot of other techniques. It's not the only one that works, of course. But if you want a nice, relaxed style that you can play for a long time without your hand getting tired or cramped up, here's the way I, I do it. First of all, one of the things we're going to do is have a relaxed position for your, your, your right hand. So just hold it in a normal, relaxed position with your fingers curled, your arms straight, and you know not bent not curled up not with your finger on the soundboard don't do any of those things just assume a natural relaxed position with your hand and then just put it down on the on the strings now you'll notice when you do that your hand and your arm wants to rest on the guitar which is good and you can play that way, you just got to know where and how to rest it. So what I do is, I rest the heel of my hand, part right here below my little fingers. You see this part of the bridge right here? I rest my heel of my hand right on that piece of the bridge. And then let my fingers just drop naturally right on top of the strings. And to do that, my hand is nice and straight nothing's bent my natural relaxed curve is there in my hand and my fingers are all in the right position on the strings to be able to play nice and relaxed finger picking now it takes a little bit of work to figure out exactly how to do that because if you get too close to the strings then you know they don't play you're, you're, you're doing what's called muting which you want to do sometimes but you don't want to do that accidentally so I normally have my my heel right on there and maybe my the first and second uh, bridge pin is where I'm, I'm touching just to know from feel that my right hand is in the right position. So that's the first thing. Drop it down on there nice and relaxed. The second thing is you know which finger should do what once you get here. And <clears throat> There's several schools of thought here, but one of the most common is you play the bass strings, six, five, four, with your thumb primarily, and you play the first, second, and third strings with your third string, third finger, second finger, first finger. So this is probably a very common way of Managing which strings with which fingers. Now I also play with all four fingers often because I learned this way when I was first starting up. So I play the first string with my little finger, second string with my third finger, third string with my second finger, fourth string with my fir uh, first finger. I sometimes play that way. And that works well on some songs and other songs you want to, you know, play the more traditional way. Okay, and then the third thing to make it nice and relaxed is the when to do things with your fingers, especially the timing. And I think what makes a, a finger style song sound good is being able to keep the timing really well with your finger finger motions on your right hand especially your thumb your thumb acts as your your bass note and also your rhythm section when you're playing the guitar so a song like the boxer you're on the C chord you're playing five four six four five four okay your thumb has got to keep that steady beat for that to sound good and then you're throwing some of the finger strings in between. 
So the other key thing is to make your rhythm very rock steady on your finger style. So if you use those three ideas, put your heel down on the bridge, let your fingers drop naturally over the right position on the strings, practice playing the correct string with the correct finger, and then practice getting your rhythm down very, very solid. Then you'll have a nice relaxed style finger picking that you can just play for hours and hours and hours and never get really get worn out in your right hand. Hope that's some help for you. Have fun with that one.